Welcome back to the raising of our yurt on our off-grid property in Vermont. In our previous episode, Charles and I started to unpack the 10 crates containing our 30-foot Pacific yurt kit. Working by ourselves, we managed to put up the lattice wall and install the front door. But to put up the roof, we would need to enlist the help of our neighbors. We ordered the larger 2x6 rafters for our snowy climate, and even the center ring that holds them is quite heavy. We are so glad you can join us as we race against the weather to get the yurt dried in on day two of our yurt raising. Good morning. We are about to raise the rafters and we have our neighbor here to help and possibly another one coming soon. Our neighbor Graham came over to help early in the morning and to put up the first three rafters he and Charles rested the lower end on the cable before inserting the steel pin into the rooftop ring. That's probably the most dangerous thing is just dropping a rafter on someone. Yeah. Yeah, they said to consider this area a hardhead area. If you ever have to do this project yourself though, don't forget to switch after the first few and start putting the pin into the ring first. Even before our neighbor Tyler showed up to help, the guys were putting up rafters as fast as I could free them from their crates and wrappings. We've been very lucky with help today and the rafters have gone up all except for the last three that go over the door. That's the next job. Can you hold it there, sir? Yeah. Come in and hold that in the level spot. Can you see a bracket? Screws and screw gun, please. We are done with all the rafters. The center ring and the rafters are all up. The door is plumb. We're ready to start putting skins on the roof. Woohoo! Our neighbor Dennis and his friend Don arrived just in time to help Charles and Tyler wrestle with the exterior roof fabric. We had chosen the upgrade material which is a thicker vinyl than the exterior wall covering. It is durable enough to have a 15-year warranty, but it took four men to carry it, and they would later need to heave it up onto the scaffolding and up through the hole in the roof. But first, they would spread the interior lining and the foil-lined bubble wrap insulation.
I went to town to pick up lunch, and by the time I got back, they had already completed both of these steps, including a complex procedure that involved taping the insulation after it was put in place. While I was getting the pizza, it looks like the first two layers of the roof are completely up, and they're about to put the outer membrane on the roof. It is extremely heavy, so it will be a challenge. A time lapse can make just about any project look easy, and the roof covering did get easier to work with as it was unfurled. But one of the trickiest parts was spreading it out without messing up the layer of insulation underneath. Or maybe I should say, spreading it out and then trying to fix the messed up layer of insulation underneath. Then, finally, it was time to install the acrylic dome skylight on top of the roof ring. Next up would be the insulated wall panels, which are foil-lined bubble wrap lined with a white vinyl surface that would become our interior wall. The kit comes with temporary hooks to hang each panel from the tension cable, so it was kind of like hanging a series of really tall shower curtains. The hardest part of this step was figuring out the order in which to hang the panels for the windows to end up in the positions we had chosen, but eventually we got it right on the second try. We discovered that each end of the exterior wall cover wraps around a dowel rod that fits into a slot in the door frame. and the top of the wall hangs from a cord that is threaded through the roof cover. In our case, the wall cover was not quite as thick as the upgraded top cover, so it was somewhat easier to handle, but it is a continuous panel, so it's still heavy enough to make us very grateful that Dennis and Don stayed to make sure it was in place before they headed home. Are we looking for a length, Dennis? I'm in up here. Oh, need the board to raise. Yep, up just to here. This was a very hard day. What was the hardest part? Getting that roof on. The this vinyl, this heavy duty PVC roof upgrade, it was very heavy and very difficult to get rolled out and then get rolled over and get it all adjusted. And how were you able to do it? With lots of help. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Graham. Thank you, Dennis and Don. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you, John, for the loan of all your equipment. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without all of you. But it is up. It doesn't have the wind or snow kit 
installed yet, but it's waterproof and we're supposed to get rain tomorrow.